All right, small unboxing today. I woke up to some Starbucks, <laughs> some Starbucks and Carl's Jr. My wife woke up before me. I think she knew we had to get some shit done, so she just went and grabbed some uh, fast food, fast coffee. So she got me a grande double shot on ice, three pumps vanilla, no classic, light cream. It sounds really more like her order than my order. I would have got a pumpkin spice latte. I mean, you'd already know. No, I'm just fucking with you guys. <laughs> I would have got a uh, white chocolate mocha with some toffee nut because that's sweet as fuck. It's just delicious. Fuck y'all. All right, fuck y'all. <laughs> All right, let's get into this unboxing. <clears throat> it's Saturday morning. It's pretty rainy out, pretty fucking gray and rainy, but that's all right. We got the box here. Let's check it out. Kind of hear some shit rolling free. That's never good. We will attempt not to cut ourselves like our buddy Ken Klitschko that me and CDB will apparently not let him live that down. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Oh, that's not good at all. All right. We got a sample opened. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll show you guys the back. There we go. Sego, the socialite. As most of you will know, Sego is a Zingari man. And the socialite smells pretty good. Oh, yeah, it's uh, it's one for the fresh boys, no doubt. Off the puck, I'm definitely getting like a lime pop or something, something citrus, and then it's kind of sparkling. Uh, I definitely get like the effervescence of like a, uh, um, it's supposed to be uh, gin gimlet, which is a mixed drink. I'm assuming it has some sort of like a, what you call it, like club soda or something, or maybe some effervescence. And that's what I'm picking up from this, but it smells real nice. I think uh, I think that's one that most people can enjoy. Good one for the uh, spring, summertime, you know, warm weather. Also got a Vegan 19 sample, which is more updated than her updated vegan that most people have probably forgot about. And this one actually has a blue tinge to it, like a like a blue, light blue turquoise type thing. I am not picking up much scent at all, and maybe it's unscented. Interesting. Very soft though, you see I had my nose all up in it, and uh, it rubbed right off, so pretty soft stuff. Let's see what else we got here. The Gatherer, and sa free samples. I did not order these samples. Oh, that smells real nice. This one is supposed to be a uh, peach, peach forward, and it smells like it smells like fresh peach. Maybe some florals. Maybe it's a very bright scent, and I think this one would also be really good for the uh, spring, summer, warm weather type thing. Okay. So, from what I could perceive off the uh, <clears throat> the Gatherer and the Socialite, they both seem like crowd pleasers. Really um, uh, bright, like summertime scents. I also picked up uh, the Gypsy uh, Body Bar. I got, that one is my favorite, like all time favorite from Zingari Man. <clears throat> the Gypsy is uh, that citrus, cucumber, and pineapple. And I have a thing of the soap. I have a thing of um, the aftershave balm. I have a thing of the body lotion. I have the beard, uh, <laughs> the beard oil. I've got the body bar before. I got the body bar again. I was kind of give you guys a look at the the bar there. Kind of cool. And it smells fucking fantastic. I cannot wait to <laughs> to fucking get into my. Uh, I just cracked open a, a Uncle the Uncle John's bath bar, but um, 
I'm soon gonna get into that gypsy as soon as I get through that Uncle John's uh, goat's milk ba bath bar. All right, so the main attraction right there, the Watchmen, Stormy Air and Dark Seas. <clears throat> so let's see, we got the Zingari Man, Sago, the Watchmen, um, some ingredients, directions for use, five ounces. Let's crack this bad boy open. Very nice. I do like this. Um, I wonder if it says anywhere <clears throat> Chatelon Lux. Because I believe this was a collaboration. I wasn't following it super closely, but when I heard Dark Aquatic, I was in. It is a wonderful fragrance. Off the puck, it smells about medium. It's not like, you know, blowing my socks off. I was told that this scent was bold and banging. Maybe after once lathered, it will be. This is nice, though. Um, I feel... I feel them with their scent notes because the scent notes are a, uh, they're more of a descriptor setting a scene, which that label, look at that fucking label. That's a nice label. The scent notes are setting a scene more than they are because it's, it's complex. They're, it's blended well. I get like an effervescence. Like, Jack said there was, like, an ele like an electricity to it. Like, um, you know, being out on the sea. It's, it, it's very nice. You can tell the dark aquatic vibe is there. Aquatic being, like, you know, you have, like, the ozone, the marine notes. I get, I still get, like, that, that freshness of, like, when you think of an aquatic. It's still fresh to me, but there's like undertones of something a little bit warmer. You know what I mean? I wouldn't call this dark by any means, but maybe warmer, like a warmer aquatic. It, it, it's very nice. I do enjoy this. I think I'm going to really like this one. And then, and this basically was all just put in a box in this uh, cardboard here everything was just kind of put in there and then put in a box so that's your packaging the aftershave splash does have some bubble wrap and there's your aftershave splash so we got Zingari Man the Watchman a like big ass list of uh am I holding that upside down big ass list of ingredients and then the other side uh recovery splash is an alcohol free and sure to please and it will leave your freshly shaven face feeling refreshed and cared for without leaving a dry dull or unpleasantly tight the recovery splash is more lightweight than our other post care products but never fear, the expert blends of oils and esters will make our products so hydrating, long-lasting, and clean-feeling are, <clears throat> are in as healthy supply here as ever. I don't know, that, la that last bit got a little bit hard to read. But uh, it just says, applied desired amount to skin to soothe the freshly shaven area. So there we go. Let's... uh. Let's give this a little shake. It looks milky from the outside, but it might just be the frosted glass. <clears throat> it has a nice industry standard restrictor on top. Not getting a whole lot out of that. Let's just get a little bit here for the... Uh... That's nice. It smells pretty damn similar to the soap, at least from what I can tell. At least the, uh, off the puck. Pretty similar. <clears throat> but it's not banging in the aftershave splash, either. I do feel like I was a little bit duped. My buddies told me it was, uh, 
it was banging and bold. I think it's about medium. <clears throat> but that's alright. Medium is industry standard. I can live with that. So I'm really excited to use this Watchman. Looks like good stuff. Heather, thank you for the samples as well. Um, I always appreciate artisans that throw some free samples in. I think, um, I don't think it, it really, I think it's more beneficial than it is, you know, hurtful to throw in some free samples, honestly. So, let's move on. What else do we got? Got another box here, smaller box. A box that I thought might never come in. <laughs> it wasn't that long, but I'm impatient. <clears throat> I was like, where the hell is this thing? And since I work at the post office, I was like tracking its movements. And I was like, you got to hate it when it happens to you. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you hear other people talk about how bad it is. You got to hate when it happens to you. I was like, where the fuck is this thing? And why isn't it moving? I'm trying not to make a mess. It had a bunch of uh, peanuts on the front. <clears throat> The scent on that Dark Seas is fucking nice. Okay, we got some more weird shit going on. <laughs> so it's not as bad as the fingernails. What the fuck is up with that? <laughs> we got like a... Free pen? Free pen? Bull goose shaving? Tossed in a free pen. <clears throat> twisty twisty pen with some uh some pink grip right there all right so we got ourselves and then it's got the little uh touch pad top bull goose hooked it up with a free sample pen i am <laughs> not sure at all if that was intentional but that's kind of funny so Here's what we've been waiting for right here. Let's see if we can uh, find a little break in the tape here. That way I can preserve some of this bubble wrap for future use. There we go. And there you have it. This is an Alpha Shaving Company. And this is their Alpha Outlaw um, handle. Stainless steel. The knurling on this is very nice. <clears throat> Probably some of the best knurling I've ever felt. Really close to the Rex Envoy knurling, which is like best in class. Really close to that. This is some nice knurling for sure. Kind of has that like sharp grip. I like it. Those channels. Those channels are a bit deep, so it's going to be a pain in the ass to clean this thing because I clean my razors after every every shave. It's going to be kind of a pain in the ass to clean this thing, but we'll do it because we love it. This is an attractive handle. This is a handsome handle, and I think it's universal enough to go with many different razor heads. Not like that ugly-ass carbon handle <laughs> and that ugly-ass charcoal handle I had. Let's go ahead and break out the charcoal. <laughs> so here's the charcoal uh, once again. And basically, I bought this handle to replace that handle. So let's let's just uh, let's see how it looks. Let's see how I did. I'll tell you right now, they're both stainless steel, but it looks like one is a bit more. Um, Looks like the charcoal is a bit more like matte than the, uh, man, eh, maybe not. This one seems more shiny to me. Like it's a bit more, has a bit more polish. But let's see how it looks together. Let's see if it kind of looks funny. The head seems to, seems to be held tight. So... How do you think I did? I think you can tell that one shiny and one is a little bit more, um, a little bit more like dull or matte, different type of metals perhaps. 
But um, I, I still think it looks great. It's a way, way more like grippy, hefty, substantial. In my opinion, looks better. So I'm happy with that purchase. Definitely happy with that purchase. Now I'll be able to use the uh, the charcoal without any out any gripes. Charcoal level two head right there. I think uh, I think we got ourselves a winner. So that was my short little mail call. I don't think yeah they didn't add anything extra in. That was it. That was just those two little things. That's all I got this time around. So. I look forward to getting some of these samples and the uh, Watchmen in use. Shit smells pretty good. I like it. And then I look forward to getting a, a shaven with that new handle on my charcoal head. So, cheers guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, short mail call. <clears throat> I'll be doing a shave a little later. And um, catch you guys on the next one.